the continuous bloodshed of Palestinian martyrs adds to the already extensive records of the occupying entity. Those who survive the occupation's bullets are often subjected to arbitrary arrests, as was the case with several young men whose homes were stormed in different areas of the West Bank and Al-Quds. On Friday, clashes erupted with the occupation forces southeast of Beit Lahm, during which bullets and poison gas bombs were fired at Palestinians, causing injuries and suffocations in Nablus. The Palestinian city of Hawara has been targeted by fire and bullets for six consecutive days, with the extremist Bazlil Smutrich's wish to erase it from existence. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry has denounced the settlers' court's decision to provide legal protection to the perpetrators of this heinous crime, citing it as further evidence of the judiciary system's involvement in covering up crimes against Palestinian citizens. The decision of the Israeli court is further evidence that the judiciary system and courts in the occupying states are an integral part of the occupation system itself, and new evidence of its involvement in covering up this heinous crime and its perpetrators and providing them with legal protection, which encourages elements of Jewish terrorism to commit more crimes, crimes against Palestinian citizens. The European Union's envoy to Palestine has called for accountability and justice for perpetrators after Zionist settlers torched dozens of houses, shops and cars in and around Palestinian village of Hawara. The envoy's visit to the West Bank aims to witness the damage left by the violence on Sunday. It is absolutely necessary for us that accountability is fully ensured that the perpetrators be brought to justice, that those who lost property be compensated. It's even more important that settler violence must stop, because if it continues, there is no future for this place. As the Zionist escalation reached its climax, the West Bank is on the brink of an explosion, and the new generation of Palestinian choice of struggle is the way to liberate Palestine. This reinforces expectations about the outbreak of a third intifada and warns of the failure of international efforts to calm the situation before the month of Ramadan.